Well, it was a combination of things. They did shoot a really well. You're absolutely right. We had a couple of uh, untimely turnovers in that stretch. So not only were we making threes, they got some run out layups. And you know, we, didn't, we didn't score the ball. And even at one stretch, we had three stops in a row. We didn't convert and even missed two free throws. So that was unfortunate. Because if you finally get some stops, you gotta, you gotta put some points in the course. We didn't do either. I thought in the second half, our, our activity level defensively, our ball movement, our rebounding was substantially better. And, uh, so it's unfortunate that we didn't play the same way in the first half. It might have been a little bit of a different kind of game. Coach, uh, to talk about the seniors, 89 victories. They came to Iowa, and they took a chance in Iowa, well, you took yeah, a chance on that. I think that's a great point. I mean, you, you talk about guys coming in and, and, and believing in what we're telling them. Well, I always say it like this. They believed in themselves because they knew they were going to have an opportunity to play. They knew they were going to be part of something new, and they knew they were a good fit with our style of play because I told them that and, and they at least had a chance to watch us play a year before they enrolled. So uh, that's the thing that I'm most proud of, that they came here at a time when they knew it was going to fall on their shoulders. And not everybody will do that, and they did that. So I'm really proud of them. Can you talk about Nicholas's performance, not just today, but what he's been to this team this season, how he's developed? Nicholas Bear is a terrific basketball player. And, and the only thing that's separating him from being really really good is, is about 15 pounds and I'm sure he'll be that much stronger next year he'll, he'll get after it in the weight room but he he can dribble pass and shoot he defends he's got instincts he's tenacious uh, he's got basketball IQ and he's got tremendous character and that's what you want. Sapp said he tried to set a kind of a tone defensively early and then he got dinged. Yeah that was a that was an unfortunate call there I mean, but you know, he went up and whacked him. I thought about you know, I thought about putting it back in. You and I talked about that a lot, Scott. You know, would you, I struggled with it, but I thought with Bear playing the way he played and Christian was solid, uh, we could get by without it because I really wanted Sapp to be able to play his game in the second half, and I thought he was really good. You mentioned, Coach, that you thought things went better in the second half. Is it hard to think about what could have been? Oh, it always is, especially, you know, when your season ends. It's one thing to lose and then talk about what you could do better. When your season ends, and you see how we played, our, how we pressed them, and how the effectiveness we had with our press, and our, our motion was much better. Our execution of our sets was much better. Our activity on the offensive glass. I mean, we got pounded on the glass in the first half, second half was a different story. Uh, and, and same thing with our turnovers. We had eight turnovers in the first half, five in the second half. So you can survive with five, eight's a lot. Because what they do is they turn your turnovers into points. Adam said he thought that your guys' energy level hurt wasn't as good as he anticipated. You that at all? I, I, I would say this. We had, a, we had a stretch there in the first half where we missed three laps and maybe four possessions and, and giving up transition opportunities. They're hitting threes. I think I think that staggered us a little bit. And, and it, you know, so you can say it's energy level, but I think we just got back on our heels a little bit and we weren't ourselves defensively. And then we wrapped it up and then we couldn't score. And so that was a frustrating eight to ten minutes of basketball. We regrouped at halftime and then played much better, but unfortunately we were already down by 20 plus. Fred, Jared, uh, you took Jared out just for a breather at about 13 and change left, and then you're probably trying to get him to 12, and then all of a sudden they went on the whole run and he was stuck. You know, he, he just, we, we just need, that, that was a situation where we just wanted to talk about something real quickly. And put it back. In. Our, our, our intention was not that, uh, that wasn't a rest time. That that was little communication. Confident this team will be back here again next year. I'm confident in, in what we have in this program. You know, and I'm not going to talk about next year's NCAA tournament today. I'm going to talk about we've got a really good class coming in. We've got really good players coming back. We've got a lot of work to do. Coach, when a season ends like this, none of those players are happy. What do you tell them a lot? Kind of I told them I was proud of them. I loved them. Uh, I told the young guys they had uh, unbelievable examples of how to take care of your business. How do you prepare? How do you work in the off season? How do you work in the weight room? How do you take care of your academic business? Uh, and how do you conduct yourselves in a way that makes your, your teammates, your family, your institution proud of you? And, and, and you know, it makes my job easy when you have senior leadership that kind of sets the tone and, and, and gives examples of how to do it and how to do it right and how to be a winning player. 
because you don't show up and win a game. You know, that, that's a lifestyle that you have to experience and know and understand. And, and you know, I've been fortunate since I've gotten here. I, mean, if you, I always say, you go back to Jared Cole, he's my first captain. You just go right on down the line. Marble, Gatons, you know, Cartwright, Wasabi. I mean, you know, I don't want to forget anybody, but everybody else who like Eric May, you know, I mean, those guys. Phenomenal individuals, phenomenal people. It makes it fun. It makes it fun to play. It makes it fun to coach. The impact of we talked a little bit about the seniors earlier, but the impact of having a following Gazelle and Woodbury all over the AAU circuit to really spend that time to bring them in and watch them. I think they're third in all time wins in school right. history. That's got to be kind of emotional. Well, you know, it, it's going to be a really different experience from last year. I look out there and those guys aren't here. You know, we brought Mike and, and, and Woody in. We, we, we kind of knew they would be stars. We kind of knew what they would do. And they did everything that I asked them to do. Everything I thought they would do. Uh, but Clemens came in as well. And, and, and we weren't 100% sure where he would end up. But he was equally successful. And, and that's because he has the same qualities. And Jared comes in as a transfer. Now, we knew he was talented. He was Mr. Basketball in Iowa. Uh, and he's the same way. So now you put four guys together like that. And... Uh, you know, I, I just couldn't be more proud because those guys said yes. You know, and, and you know, you look at Adam Woodburn. You know, he could have gone to North Carolina. So I want to go to Iowa. I want to go to Iowa, and I want to make a name for myself. And I trust Coach McCaffrey and Gasell. Same thing. He had a ton of options. Uh, you know, know, if he was going to go to Stanford or a place like that with a 4.0 to grade point average. No, I want to go to Iowa, and I'll, get, I'll accomplish everything I want to in Iowa. And then you have Jared Utah. You know, he transferred back. He got the Academic All-American of the Year, another Academic All-American. And, uh, and Clemens, one of the great success stories of all time, he, you know, he didn't have many offers. He had no offers at the high major level. But he viewed himself as a high major player and wanted an opportunity. We gave him an opportunity. He took advantage of it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm going to miss those guys, I can tell you that. Okay, guys.